got a pot on the stove here and in that pot I have four medium sized potato and I'm using Yukon Gold potatoes. You can use whatever potato you like using. I just love using Yukon Gold potatoes. I'm just bringing that up to a boil and what I like doing is going in with some sea salt in here. I'm going to salt it here because once our water comes up to boil and the potato starts to cook here, we're sort of blanching or pre-cooking the potato to make the entire recipe a bit quicker and easier to manage. It, that potato is going to suck in all that salt and you'll get the salt from within the um, within the potato, within that finished hash brown, within that finished seasoned potato at the end. So I would recommend salting the water at this point. Bring it up to a boil, reduce it to a rolling boil. So basically all you will do, this is the potato already peeled. What I like doing is cutting chunk off the bottom. So this way it gives me a flat surface. Then down, down. And I can stack them if you want, you don't have to stack them so, like so. And every time you have a flat surface connecting with the chopping board. So it makes it a lot safer for chopping up those potato into the little wedges or the little cubes that we need. No, you're not seeing things. I moved the potato to the other burner there. And I have my cast iron. Um, skillet. You can use a non-stick, whatever it is you like using, uh, stainless steel, whatever you like using, that is totally cool. I have it on medium heat. I'm going to go in with a tablespoon of butter and I'm going to go in with about a tablespoon of olive oil. And what I like doing with these potatoes is onions. I like adding onions to it. So while the potato does its thing there, and the potato will only cook for about seven minutes. It's already been about five minutes. So I know it's almost there. So what I want to do now is sort of soften up these onions and bring out some of that flavor in there. If you wanted to add garlic in here, you can certainly do that, but you'll see the Caribbean green seasoning I'll be using, it will have, um, it will have garlic already in there. In my bowl here, I'm going to add one tablespoon of Caribbean green seasoning. If you're new to Caribbean cooking, Caribbean green seasoning is just a puree or blend of all the herbs we like using in our dishes, um, along with garlic and seasoning peppers and, and all, all kind of niceties in there. Head over to CaribbeanCod.com for that recipe. I do mine in olive oil. Traditionally, it's done in water or vinegar. Why just plain old vinegar? But I find with, um, and I have some peppers in here as I said as well, just some seasoning peppers or what we call pimento peppers. Um, you would find that by using the olive oil, what happens is it maintains the vibrancy, the colors of those herbs. And I find that it maintains more of the flavor of the herbs and garlic and everything else. I went in with a tablespoon and a half of olive oil in here. And we're going to give it a, a good dose of fresh brown black pepper. You can use the black pepper as a finisher. So when it's all done, that's when you can add your black pepper. But I like it in here. And you notice we've got that. I don't know how good the camera is picking it up, but a lovely little marinade something here. This is going to season the potatoes with that Caribbean green seasoning for that. Yo, that lovely little flavor, man. As soon as you start seeing the little brown edges on the onion, what you want to do is turn the heat down. I had it on a sort of a medium low. I'm going to turn it all the way down to low because I don't want the onions to burn. I just want them to pull out all that onion flavor and the sweetness, bring out the sweetness in the onion. So to help with bringing out the sweetness in the onion, tiny bit more salt. I'm very mindful of the amount of salt in my diet. So this is all the salt that, you know, we boil the potato, we are boiling the potato in salted water. And this is as much salt as you will see me add in this entire thing. But at the end, if you wanted to finish off with some sea salt and some more black pepper, you can certainly do that. It's totally up to you. The potatoes are all done now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to strain them and I'm going to pour that seasoned olive oil all over in there and the potato only took about seven minutes as I said but pouring that olive oil green seasoning mixture in here the potato is going to suck that up as it cools down and you notice how it's 
It's, it's tender, but it's about 95% cooked. We're going to finish off the cooking in the skillet now. So all we're going to do is pour this into the pot like so. Make sure you get everything out of the pot. And if your cast iron pan doesn't have one of those silicone things there, boom bam, put a cloth on there because the entire thing will get hot. And all you want to do is be gentle and fold this. Bring all that onion into the game. Yeah, we got to bring them into the game. It's half time. We're down by two points and we need those substitutes to come in and do our thing. We're just going to toss these. I'm going to crank up my heat to medium because I want to form a little crust on this. It is all kind of nice. It is from the texture to the taste to the, the inside that's going to be nice and creamy. It's all kind of layers of lovely flavors here with these Caribbean breakfast potatoes. And you notice in, it was very simple, eh? nothing difficult about this. You pull this out on your brunch or whatever, your Sunday morning, whatever, your family's, yo. Israel points you winning. Good to see of Uncle Chris and these potatoes. And here's where you're going to personalize things. You will taste it for salt and adjust it. You will keep the heat on for as long as you want to create that sort of crust that I was talking about. And that is a game changer, eh? that sort of crust. And the final thing I like doing is let it rain freshly chopped parsley. We're going to finish off with that herbal note. Remind people this is a Caribbean herb style breakfast potato. <laughs> Sup soldiers? Listen, if you enjoy this recipe, I'd really appreciate it if you hit subscribe and click that bell notification thing. If you've made the recipe, take a picture and send it to me, email address down here. I'm really trying to tell people the email address, them butts will take the address and do all kind of thing with it. And tag me on Instagram at Caribbean Pod. I really appreciate you guys and thanks for being in my kitchen with me today. Irene, Irene. Always a pleasure having you all in the kitchen with me. I hope you guys have a great weekend. And yo, give the potatoes a try, man. They're real nice. Even if it's not for lunch, it can be a, a, a you know breakfast for dinner kind of thing. Always a pleasure. Irene, Irene.